Hey guys, welcome back. It's another mini awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter, live from the uh, studios in uh, Pittsburgh, PA. Today, let's talk about uh, Apple's been featuring pay once and play games over on the App Store, according to TheVerge.com. Um, and these are games, you know, again, like, you know, like we used to get games where we pay a price up front and then we play them for as long as we want to. Um, you know, right in the header, they're featuring uh, Threes, Blurk, and uh, Tom Was Alone. Thomas Was Alone, I think it is. Uh, three games that I have on my my uh, uh, system, and uh, two of those, at least, I think, were recommended by Chachi over at InsertCoinToBegin.com on his Mobile Mondays. Um, but... This is interesting. So in, in the argument in the article is saying whether uh, this means that Apple is is preferring these over freemium ones. I think it's help reminding people that these exist because we've had so many freemium and free to play. I mean, we've had three games on the Super Bowl ads that are free to play freemium games. Um, I'm playing nothing but WWE Supercard and uh, WWE Immortals myself lately. Um, you know, where have our monument value, valleys go gone? You know, where have our other games, you know, I don't know how many games I have stacked up on here are even Angry Burns has gone uh, free to play. I didn't mind. And actually, I'm a little perturbed that I bought Angry Birds, like several versions of Angry Birds, and now they're pretty much freemium and are bugging me, even though I bought it to get stuff. Um little little bit irked at that but um i think there's a, definitely a place for these um especially like uh you know goat simulator i've been playing you know back to that old style you know so that you're not pestered or you're not stuck with like well i did five turns of this and now i'm out of energy and i'm gonna go do something else or pay money to keep playing i don't know um but it's good to remember that um and, and it's good to see it is unfortunate because the freemium games pop up so high in the charts so that's what you see because so many people can download them and try them, whether they're getting into them or not. Um, I, I can't say this is bad because, like, good, somebody's making money from this. Um, but it is, I think it's still important to support that old model, too. You know, and I guess the survival of the fittest in the long run, as always. Let me know, what do you what do you think? Do you think the uh, pay once and play games are all but dead or uh, are you just really really want to get away from your freemium games let me know in the comments of this on youtube or at sorgatron or at awesome cast on the twitter and uh we'll see you next week for more awesome cast this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com